investments and opportunities can choose us or choose others. I'd much rather they choose us. And they will be choosing a steady ship that is seaworthy in a storm. The Honourable Mr Leon Pereira referred to our economy yesterday as a titanic. I'd like to suggest that this is a mischaracterization. Our economy has been going on for 55 years, not always smooth, but always delivering opportunities for Singapore and Singaporeans. We have encountered many major problems and crises, separation, the British withdrawal, the oil crisis, the 85 recession, SARS, the Asian financial crisis, the global financial crisis. We have never encountered a problem we did not bounce back from stronger. This is the metal of our country and our people. Why? Because we do not assume that we are invulnerable. We are always worried, in fact, about our vulnerability, almost to the point of paranoia, planning for contingencies, learning, adapting. We have been driving transformation, re-engineering our economy as we keep going. The industry, industrial transformation maps are the latest version of a long line of efforts to ensure that we keep Singapore in the best possible condition, not just for now, but also for the future. During calmer waters, there were voices in this chamber telling us not to worry, that we can risk our stability and our reserves. Well, we have seen clearly why we have safeguarded our reserves. We have now deployed them in this crisis to help our people to reinvent themselves and to create opportunities for us to keep on going into the future. So, Mr. Speaker, I would like to suggest that we are not quite the Titanic. Uh, I'd like to suggest we are the Starship Enterprise, always exploring new frontiers and making friends with people from many different places. As my colleague Dr. Tan Si Leng had mentioned a couple of days ago, we will live long and prosper. 